Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Surviving Mars episode three. We are playing as Russia on 555% difficulty. And I'm going to move him a little bit this way. He can still reach the Universal Depot and then also reach the new dome. So that is going on. Let's salvage this other rover. Uh, if you missed last episode, we did take in a uh, a quest, so to speak, of uh, eight free drones, but now they're blowing up on us. All right, we have our passenger rocket. Now, we missed uh, the chance here, uh, but I'm going to let that sit in space just for a little while. Uh, not long. In fact, I, I am going to go ahead and outsource this. Uh, I'm going to do a thousand two hundred million. Uh, how long do we have for these guys? 118 hours. So we'll keep an eye on that. I would just like to really be able to have the farm ready to go. All right, we just gained 400 million. So we got some of our money back that we just spent. We're 98% of the way here. Drone prototypes. All right, so a patch. <laughs> so basically, they released a video game. It had bugs in it. And now they've released the patch that should have been caught before they released it, right? <laughs> We're all familiar with that. I would not mind another RC commander. We've already sent some extra drones, right? So let's do the RC commander. I think that'll be a good deal. All right, we've also co uh, completed a special project. That gets us 500 research. All right, so that's ready to go. Let's destroy that. And you know what I want to do? The supply pods. Remember, they're free. Let's send a couple of them. That's a 50. Seventy five. That's a hundred electronics. All right. So the hundred electronics, remember, is what we're going to need for our rocket. All right. Let's see. We just finished our research of the telescope. And that gets either a hundred ongoing sponsorship, a 20% discount on outsourcing or money. Money money is important, but unless you're just desperate, it's never the best. Let's go with the 100% of uh, the 100 extra research. So now we're up to 500. And taking a look here, so we're 4% of the way through on the farm. We have got uh, 106 hours and let's go ahead and outsource thousand more resource for 200 for 200 million and that'll help get that done just because it's important oh hold on you are in the way let's just move you let's just move you out of the way for right now right let's do that all right let's land you and then we're going to get you off to the next one all right so i want you now to go and do this satellite. That'll be 400 more research. Now, he doesn't have the room, the uh, supplies yet. Did I do that right? All right, let's land these. We'll just land them one at a time. Um, all right, hold on. You, there. There we go. All right. So now he needs a hundred of those. Good deal. All right. Can I land the next one? No, but let's land it. Let's land it over here. We'll land you over here. And then now there's room for you here. All right. So that should be done. It does need a hundred fuel a little bit farther to go. All right, how are we doing here, man? Farms are almost done. How are we doing time-wise? 
82 hours. We're going to be fine. I don't know if we would have been fine without the uh, outsourcing. All right. Oh, we just did another anomaly. Okay. And soil adaptation. All right. So let's now build a farm right there. I want that built fast. And let's prioritize that. Yeah. And they are going to get that up and running. All right. So it's up. Let's go ahead and land our passengers, and they are going to come in here, and we are going to set this to be wheat to try to generate food right away, and then we are also going to put a food depot right outside the door, and that'll be good. All right, so here they come. Here come all of our little people. Yay, we're on Mars. So remember, we only have this one passenger rocket for the entire game. I thought I already researched the breakthrough. Didn't I? Yes, I did. Hello. How did I not get that? I did research a breakthrough first, bastards. All right, well. All right, so anyway, they're going. All right, they're going to be up into the into the building here. All right, so our farm is almost full. Cafe Mars is working. Doctors is working. And the grocers is working. All right, we just got transport optimization. So now our RC transport here can carry 45 instead of 30. So that's good. <coughs> All right, we've got that. We've done that. We just did that. All right, now the founder stage lasts for 10 days or until the first Martian born is born on your planet. Now, we don't care about the founder stage because what that does in a normal game is after you end that stage, by either waiting 10 days or having your first Martian baby, then you can have more passengers come to Earth on a rocket. We are going to send you back to Earth now. Oh, you know what? Damn it. That was the wrong thing. I should have sent him to an anomaly. But we only get the one passenger rocket. So we have 35 comfort here. We, only, we have a birth threshold of 40. So what I want to do is let's now build. I'm going to build a uh, a garden right here. We're going to build uh, about a stone garden over here and a small fountain in there. Actually, no, let's not do that. Let's build a fountain, but I want to do it in this angle to leave this corner open. All right, so anyway, we're going to build that. Uh, I am going to lower that to a low priority. I really want this done first. All right, there they go. Now that has increased us to 37. All right, so we need more relaxation. All right, let's build another stone garden here. And we'll just add one thing at a time, and that should be fine. All right, I do want a passageway. Actually, you know what? I don't need a passageway to this dome. What I do need, though, is a food depot. Let's put it there. And then I want to change the settings for every food depot I've got. So I'm going to hit Control, and we're going to raise that to 50. Then what we're going to do out here is we are going to build, I'm going to build, uh, let's see, how about a, I'm going to build three nurseries. I am going to build a playground and I am going to build a school. Now I do need to run power and water out to here. So let's get our pipe. 
and power. All right, another anomaly is found. Oh, let's check and see where we're at. Okay, so I'm going to go down this way and then out this way. Let's check our drillers here. Where are you at? So you're out here, and you are drilling away. We have 379 metals left there. And let's see, the other one is over here, and boy, he is cranking away, isn't he? Damn it, I'm on the wrong key here. And he's got 442 left. All right, you, I want you to pull all these metals. I'm going to pull uh, yeah, all the metals. And then we'll have you bring it back just over here. That'll be good. I just need to realign. Well, actually, it's better to do it this way because that's where you see. Now, I have a thought. Let's pull you, and I'm going to have you start drilling over here instead of up here. Reason being, we've got the other guy doing metals. This is rare metals. Rare metals we can actually send to Earth for money. That's a revenue generator. All right. We have new anomalies. We're down to Drone Hub. All right. I want the machine parts. That'll be good. I would like decommission protocol. When we have to destroy something, this allows us to destroy it completely. Otherwise, the ruin stays right there. And uh, yes, that needs to be first again. I'm sorry. I've, I've screwed that up. That should already be done. All right. But anyway, we're working away, man. We're working away. All right. What I want to do now is we're going to go here. And we want to set this to only allow children. And we're going to apply that. Then we're going to go to our next dome. And we're going to allow everybody except for children. That means any children that are born will move out of here into here. And they do not need services. All they need is nurseries to live in, a school to start educating them and uh, give them some positive traits and a playground to play in. And so we may end up building a couple of these, but I built this smaller one because it didn't take any polymers. It just takes concrete and metal, of which we have plenty. And you can see uh, we are up to 626 on the research. And let's check our comfort level. So we have a 67 comfort now. And if we check bursts, we only require a 40. So that's huge. So we should have babies at some point. And what's the one thing? Shopping, six people. So we do have the grocer that does shopping. I really don't have anything else that I can do right now. I think the only thing would be the uh, art store or the, yeah, the art store or the electronics store. But I don't have polymers or electronics to spare. So we're not going to do that. Now, what I do want to do, how much fuel are we sitting on? Only 69. All right, we don't have a lot of concrete left. So what I want to do here. I'm going to move you up to this side. And then, no. And then what I want to build is one of the things that we have as Russia is we have this concrete plant. Actually, you know what? Let's build it right there. Put you back. Put you back. All right, pause it. All right, I need power. And let's come out from here to there. And this takes fuel to operate. And let's put down another, I don't know, couple of dumping stockpiles uh, because it will generate waste rock. And But we have fuel here, so that's good. Let me go ahead and put another fuel depot 
right there just to have some place and we have the first martian born we've also finished that research now we're up to 584 and we have our first mars baby all right so let's see what we've got so there is one person living over here little eve star killer our first baby and she's already moved out so she's not taking any space in here which that means, because children don't work. So that means everybody that's living in here will be working and making babies and everything else. So that's good. Let's unpause it. Little Eve Star Killer. That's awesome. I would not mind the Mars University. And I would not mind the Dozer. How are we doing here? Seven, eight. You know what? Let's start up here, right at the top of our ramp. We'll go ahead and search our elevation and see what we've got there. Uh, we do have... All right, I'm going to blow this up. And you, where are you at? Here you go. Let me grab you, all the metals. And drop them off up here, if you don't mind. Now, unfortunately, even though you have the automatic with the mod. Oh, and we have built a drone. We can do drone hubs now. All right. So drone hubs, they take 12 metal and 8 electronics. Now, if you destroy them, you actually get your material back, or at least most of it. It's cheaper to build, I think it's cheaper to build the drone hub and destroy it to generate more drones. But we do need more drone hubs. So what I want to do is I'm going to build one right here. And we're going to build one, how about right there. And then I'm going to build another one right here. All right, so that'll add three and give us some more guys that can be tooling around. Now the drone hub, now we can build the drone assembler. Let's go ahead and do that one. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and start at the top here. We'll get that one done. All right, so let's just kind of check. So we're generating a positive 23 power during the day, 55 short at night. And you can see that we are consuming 80 per hour, I guess that is. And we have 1,300, 1,400 stored. All right, somebody got the enthusiast trait, low food. They are still cranking away. Now, it doesn't mean that we're out of food. We just don't have any stored. So Cafe Mars has 10, and the grocer has 9.8. So we've got 20 food. All right, there is our high-speed comm satellite. And now we're up to 900 research a day. All right. So that's good. That'll help us start powering through research. Now, you can see we actually got that done with little to no cost. I am going to send a cargo rocket. I can't send passengers. So I want 20 more of those, and then I want a few machine parts, a lot more of those. There you go. And let's see, you're ready to land. All right, so you're coming down. Now what we want to do is we want to turn him around, and we want to start scanning some of these planetary anomalies. This takes nine drones. That'll get us new tech. I don't, I, I don't think, I don't have any geologists, because remember, I don't have any specialist. So the only one I can do here, unless I have, oh, I do have one on the other side of the planet, but I don't have any engineers. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and send the drones. Pick the one that's on the planet, and he will go off. Uh, let's go ahead, and we're going to offer out concrete. Four polymers. Starvation. No, you're not starving. Oh, you know what? Yes, yes, we are. Mm. 
On this one, I'm going to lower this to zero. This one, I want at least 10, please. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to allow kids in this dome for the time being. Until we get full, I will allow. And on this one, let's, uh, let's turn off. Next dome, let's turn that off. All right. So that kid should move out of there. And now we're up to 13 in this dome, none in that dome. That way the kid can access the food in here until we start having enough food generated. That'll be a good idea. And we're going to keep this on wheat just until we get a surplus of food. When I start having it hit, not just the places inside, but outside as well, then we know we've got enough food that we can switch over. I also want to be keeping an eye up here for this column as people, as these kids become work eligible and they become unemployed. So right now we have one job opening, which is in the farm, right? Right there. So the, this kid, when he becomes work age as a child, uh, the, the, let's see, what's, what's the breakdown again? It's, um, all right, so children can't work. When he becomes a youth, then he can work. He'll start working at the farm, and then, uh, you know, eventually we do want to build our university. All right, they're back with the nine drones. Oh, we are out of electronics, that's right. All right, so you're back. Anything else that we can do here? I don't think so. Everything was geologist. Now we can uh, we can capture meteors. That'll cause meteors to impact on Mars, and they can leave metals, rare metals. They can expose anomalies, but you know we don't really want to do anything with that right now. So we'll let him go back to Earth. I really don't have anything going on. All right, let's see. I tell you what, we'll pick up here next episode. Hit the like button, subscribe to stay up to date with daily content on the channel, and we will see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.